chilling tales for dark nights. Want to make sure you never miss a Chilling Tales for Dark Nights video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Thank you, it's so beautiful. Her words trailed off as she admired the beautiful portrait of her on the canvas that her boyfriend had painted skillfully. The painting had every detail of her face on it, including her bright, distinctive smile. No problem, babe. It's just that this is not the finished product. Her beloved had grinned sinisterly, scraping some paint off with a stick. She gasped in horror as she saw her screaming self looking back at her with red, teary eyes, blood trickling down her neck, which had a wound slit across it. Before she could speak, she felt a sharp pain across her neck as she screamed in pain, tears brimming in her eyes. I've always been afraid of spiders. I had once been attacked by one in my childhood, and since then my arachnophobia began. Recently we shifted to a new house and I realized that the basement contains something even more scary. I go to sleep in my bedroom and wake up in the basement, somehow surrounded by creepy crawlies. I even heard them whispering and plotting to kill me while I'm asleep. I don't know whether to initiate pest control or to visit a psychiatrist. She hugged him tight, revealed that his presence was in her room and not the demonic entity which creeped up her legs last night. But the stench of it concentrated more on his shirt. She lifted her head from his shoulders to look at the mirror behind him and she saw it latched onto the back of her boyfriend's head, staring at her. The familiar tune began playing outside again and they stopped what they were doing to listen. They turned to face each other, these two lovers. He walked to her and embraced her the look of urgency in his eyes. They stepped apart and he offered her his hand, which he took without hesitation. He walked her to the bed. Lie with me. Two lovers lay beside each other, holding one another tightly. The sirens continued to wail outside as they waited for the bombs to fall. I am a 16-year-old girl who suffers from serious amnesia. One day I found a photo of a little boy from an album in the attic and showed it to my parents. They tried to convince me that I used to have a twin brother and he died years ago. But the thing is, the placement of his mole and birthmark are the same as mine. <laughs> 